Assalamu alaikum, I am engineer Saifullah and you are watching Saifullah engineer at site YouTube channel. So dear guys, today we will discuss some important formula for derivation of area of different shapes. For example, hollow circle, ellipse, sector, etc. So watch full video for the full knowledge. And if you are a new visitor, so please subscribe our YouTube channel and press bell icon for notification of new videos. So let's move toward our video. So dear guys, here we will discuss the formula of different shape area. So the formula for the square is A is equal to A square. A is the side of the square shape. So you know that square has all side same. It means that side multiplied by side is equal to the area of the square and this is the name of this side mean A. So this side, this side and this side all are equal. So the formula for the square is A is equal to A square and A is the side of the square. Now the second shape is rectangle. So the formula for the rectangle is length multiplied by breadth or width. So this is the length of the rectangle and this is the breadth or width of the rectangle. When we put the length and uh, the values of length and breadth in the this formula, it will give the area of rectangle. So dear guys, there the third shape is triangle. The formula for triangle is equal to A is equal to half of B H. B is the base and H is the height of the triangle. So when we have the height and base values, then we can can, can calculate the area of triangle. When we put the value of base and height and divide these values by 2, will be the area of the triangle. Now, here the fourth one is trapezoid. So the formula for the area of trapezoid is half of a plus b multiplied by h so guys in trapezoid there are four sides and the all four sides are not equal all are different so this is length number one which is can be noted by b and this is the shortest length can be denoted by a and here we will denote the height of the shape which will be denoted by h so when we uh, add this length with this and then multiplied by height and then divided by 2 will give the area of trapezoid mean half of a plus b multiplied by h is the numerical formula for the area of trapezoid now here the fifth shape is elif so here in the elif the area a formula is a is equal to phi a b so a is the half minor axis and b is the half major axis when we multiply half minor axis and half major axis with phi phi is the uh, constant which value is equal to 3.14 so this is the formula for ellipse to find the area of ellipse we will use this formula and the sixth number shape is parallelogram in this shape all sides are parallel to each other so here we can we will denote the base and the height so the area of parallelogram is very simple which is b multiplied by h b is the base and h is the height so dear guys here we will put the value of base and height will give the area of parallelogram these two sides are same and parallel also these two sides are same and parallel so we will put the values b and h to calculate the area parallelogram so 
the seven number shape is a circle for a circle area we use the numerical formula phi r square as already i have told you that phi is a constant whose value is 3.14 something and r is the radius of the circle phi r square is the numerical formula to find the area of a circle a is equal to phi r square when we put the radius uh, the value of radius of a circle and multiply it with 3.14 will give the area of a circle now here the eight one shape is sector sector of a circle s is a piece a circle so the formula for the sector is equal to a multiply a is equal to a mean area is equal to half of r multiplied by theta you know that theta denotes the angle and this is the angle whose value will be in radians value of theta will be in radians to find the area of a sector so here you can see the formula of sector of a circle to find the area of sector of a circle is a is equal to half of radius multiplied by theta theta is the angle here is the angle theta okay dear, uh, dear friends now we have to find the area of a cylinder so dear guys the area formula for a cylinder is equal to is equal to phi multiplied by d multiplied by h so phi is the constant and d is the diameter of the cylinder and h is the height when we put the value of d diameter of the cylinder and height of the cylinder and then multiply it with the value of phi phi value is 3.14 something then it will give the area of the cylinder so this is the area of cylinder area formula of cylinder now here we will discuss about the hollow circle area formula there are two circle this is the larger circle and this is the smaller circle this diameter is the diameter of the smaller circle and this capital D is the diameter of the larger circle so you can see that area of hollow circle is equal to pi multiplied by d square minus d square divided by 4 so guys here d the capital D is the diameter of the larger circle and the small d is the diameter of the small circle it means that we will calculate d square mean diameter of the larger circle then minus the value of the small d mean the diameter of the smaller circle and then multiply the value uh, the answer with the constant phi which is 3.14 and then we will divide that answer by 4 so we will get our area of the hollow circle so area formula for the hollow circle is equal to a is equal to phi multiplied by capital d square minus small d square divided by 4 capital d square is the diameter of the larger circle and small d square is the diameter of the smaller circle so now the last shape is half circle area so dear guys we have discussed the area formula for a circle sector of a circle hollow circle now we will discuss the area formula for the half circle 
So the area formula of the half circle is A is equal to phi phi multiplied by divided by 8 multiplied by d square. So guys in this formula phi is the constant whose value is 3.14 and d square is the diameter and it is a digit. It means that we will divide the value of phi which is 3.14 by 8 and then multiply the value by the value of diameter or diameter of the cir half circle who by which we can get our value of the area. I will repeat it again here we will put the phi value then we divide the phi value by 8 and then we will divide the answer by d square d square mean the value of diameter of the circle so thank you guys if you have enjoyed the video and get your knowledge from the video so please like our video and subscribe our channel several engineer at site and click the bell icon for the notification of new videos thank you